right um so we can see this is the first strip i've done here just over the ton um of the gravel just build this gravel it's all sand and stone with some rock there's a lot of uh, rocks and slate underneath and stuff but what i found was the uh the echiums or echiums were in the way and i decided to move them now i i've heard from different videos that they don't like to be moved so this is the candy cans this is the, the smaller um branching one it only goes a couple of feet high and it branches out into several branches it's not like the, the pinanana which just goes straight up in a single spike so these i reckon that they weren't in the ground even a year so there couldn't have been that much of a taproot on them so i dug them up and there was no big taproot um, I was able to take up all the root ball that was around it and I moved them out of the way because they were in the way of the wheelbarrow and I've just dug in more stone and gravel and sand and I've moved this one up it was down around here so I've just moved it back out of the way and it's in a much more elevated position so it might drain off this ground should drain off a lot better but I've dug out a big hole, filled it full of sand and gravel and stuff. So hopefully, both of them are, are solid. This one had about an inch of soft, squidgy stuff on them. So I just nip, nip that off. Um, and hopefully, I've just taken off the uh, the shrink wrap here, or pallet wrap. Just so the air can get at them. Let's see how they get on. If the bad weather comes again, we'll just cover them over, keep them dry. But there's good drainage under them now. They were actually just planted into soil, which apparently they don't like. So we're going to find out if, obviously because they're small plants and the young plants, they'll probably have stand a better chance of being moved. But uh, we'll find out if they, if they can be moved anyway. So the plan is to fill this whole area. Give it a good three or four inch depth. All along the path, all along coming back up this side. All the sand and gravel. Um, the Washingtonia palm, which is not a hardy palm. I have two of them, one, of, one up at the uh, patio area. And this one here, I'm actually going to put them along here, near the, the cord line. Probably one to the right of the cord line and one to the left. In a bit anyway, so they're not, well, if they do if grow up, they won't be impeding people, or myself anyway, walking down the path. Right, so here's one of the mullen. Um, some people call it a herb and they actually look in shape and size like the the uh, the echiums except these are yellow and they've been flowering all over for years and I think I disturbed the cycle I didn't get any flowering mullen this year in, around the garden because of the work I did last winter in the, in the rose garden where they used to grow they were fairly prolific and I used to let them go to seed purposely because I wanted them to keep going. Um, so I didn't get any flowers last summer, but this one here should, if it's still alive, it should take off. So that's one mullen there. And I have a second one, one here. It's much smaller. Now that is not going to be able to stay there because I'm actually going to be putting stone walls coming all the way down so that's not going to be able to stay there I'm going to move that one out um, this is one that I actually transplanted when it was very small, tiny last summer and it's after growing that's massive now compared to what it was Like that's see my hand there that's huge so that will probably flower uh, this summer 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the small one that's on the path line over here and I'm going to plant it up they don't like they're like the etching as well they don't like fertile soil um, they look ordinary just plain earth gravel um, they go on old wasteland and building sites and all that kind of stuff building sites and place where there's no real rich soil they'll, they'll they grow there so I'm hoping to get a lot of spikes <laughs> um, and eventually in the years to come a lot of colour the yellow purples and pinks of the different uh, echims and um, hopefully the the mullen so I'm going to move that one now right, so we can see the root here and it's, it's only a small mullen See the way the, the root develops, the root ball around it just fell off. I think it was just so damp sitting on the path there. So, if you like growing ec echiums or echiums, try and get yourself some of the, the mullen, they're fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna transplant it over there. Right, so that's what I did. I took the soil out from the the hole over here, dug back in a load of sand and gravel, and I actually used hex stone from the, the path, gravel like that. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of drainage underneath it and around it. Um, this is a really hot sunny spot here south facing that's why that bed over there is so dry um, I'm not too sure if those shefflers will actually like that dry bed um, I might move the shefflers down the field down here down on the pathway because the ground is all sloping from left to right just drops all the way down the very end of the wood so all along here right across is very dry um, so here's the mullen here's the third mullen and it's gone back in so we're going to find out now later on in the year if the mullen and the hecums will survive the transplantation and here's Fia getting in the shot again hi Fia good girl 